Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the Avon Park here at Marlis Club. We're going to take up the free wing Yak 130. My rates are 70% over 15% expo all the way around. Got a Sokokan 4000 pushed back a little bit and running with an AR630 antenna spectrum receiver. I do have safe in AS3X, but I'm only flying in the AS3X. So. All right, now my S3X is active. Make sure my gyros are going the right way. Yes, they are. All right, this is a great little plane. The entire body of this plane acts as a lift body. So the whole thing is, it makes it for a very efficient little airplane. Just looks like, and probably has one of the best sounding, one of the most sounding uh, EDFs out there. It is, has a wonderful deep throaty sound to it. And that great big fin on the back looks like a big old shark dorsal fin. All right, timer set for three and a half minutes. Here we go. Time remaining three minutes. There, I think I got her sorted out now. Landing flaps, gear down. Make sure my gear is down. And it is. There we go. Flaps up. All right, let's take off this time actually with landing flat or takeoff flaps. Let's take her straight up. All right. Time remaining two minutes. I'm going to tank her right on by. All right, going back out towards the corner of the road, coming back towards us. All right, I'm gonna put the gear down. Now I'm gonna make one ru uh, run by the runway, make sure everything's down, then come back in and land. Everything's down. Well, oh, I love the way everything sounds, the way that engine sounds. All right. There we go.
We got enough ends for one more. We're going to take off from down there. We're going to do no flaps. Everything's down. Gonna be in the grass, but that's okay. Ten. Flaps up. Nine. Eight. Seven. Coming down the center line. All right. Motor off. Now, Motion RC free wing does not sell this particular Yak 130 anymore, but they sell the exact same one, but in a green, I think green and yellow, mostly green livery, but it's the exact same plane, same power system, even the same gear. Now the gear is the chicken wire, but it's very functional. It does a very good job. Um, one thing, if you do get this plane, I have found that the nose gear has a tendency to want to bind. If you'll carve out a little bit of this foam at the top of the wheel well, then this, this gear, won't, it, it cuts the bind out. I mean, sometimes it'll hit that back wall and then it binds. So I, I shaved a little bit, to, just took a spoon, carved out some of the foam to where there's more of a wheel well for that uh, gear to sit in there. And I, I, it cut out all my uh, binding problems with that nose gear. Um, the plane itself is actually quite efficient because the entire body acts as a lifting body. The same thing with that new Yak 130, the, the green one. The Yak is just a great flying plane. Even though she's small, she's, that big old rudder and the way the control surfaces are, she's very, very locked in and very stable. Let's check our battery and see how much life. Real quick, I'll show you my battery placement. And this seemed to work out really well. Is um, you got that okay? About two, maybe three finger lengths in is where I've got that 4,000 pushed almost all the way back. Now, if I ran a 5,000, I'd go all the way back with it. And the other thing you're going to want to do is you could put your receiver up here, but you'd have to carve some of the bottom of the, uh, the uh, battery uh, canopy out. So if you take a couple of popsicle sticks and then just glue them in the side up here, you can create yourself a little shelf and that's where I put my AR630. And it's, it's out of the way, it's got great signal right there and it has a zero problem with the, um, with the battery uh, hatch clearance. Um, like I said, if you wanted to put it up front, you'd have to shave some of this out. So, all right, let's check and see just how much life is left in our battery. Oh gosh, I still got 52%. I told you how that's after a full, th well, three and a half minutes. So three minutes and 40, three, three minutes and 23 seconds. So I could have set my timer for a full four minutes, maybe four, four minutes and 10 seconds, but a good four minutes easy. But I like to be on the conservative side. But anyways, that is the Yak, Yak 130 uh, from Freewing. If you put this up against the FMS Yak 130, to me, they both fly the same, um, but this one has a better sound to it. I mean, just listen to this. I mean, that just sounds so mean. All right, folks, well, thank you for watching. This is Fat Guy Flies RC, and that is the Freewing Yak 130, Russian attack craft. Bye-bye, y'all.